This is your standing bar for button size. This is great for balance. You're gonna tone and sculpt your beautiful legs. I'm Action Jacqueline. Meet me on the mat and let's get started. Okay, let's begin. We are going to start in a first position with a demi plie. So we're gonna um, first turn out the toes, squeeze the booty, pull yourself all nice up and tall. Head, shoulders, hips, heels all in one line. And we're gonna go demi, two demis and then a nice grand plie. Nice, just like that. All right, I'm gonna start the timer because each of these moves are gonna be timed as we flow gracefully through every single one. So you can add some arms here and I do have ankle weights on that we'll be using them for later. And this is your very first time doing this video. I would recommend doing it without the ankle weights and then adding them as you repeat the video. So when you do your grand plie, feel like you're balancing a book on top of your head. Everything is in line. Squeeze the booty as you come up. Nice. And in this whole workout, we're gonna be moving nice and slow, gracefully in our bodies. And it's gonna feel so good. You're gonna activate muscles that you probably don't normally work too often. Now we're gonna move into releves in first position. So we're staying in first, lifting high up onto the toes, lowering down, just like that. All right, here we go. And lift, lower, lift, lower. So all of these exercises, we will be standing, which is gonna require a lot of balance. So focus on feeling tall, everything integrated into the center. Nice job. resisting on the way down and I'm squeezing my booty a lot back there. Okay, now we're gonna move into a second position. Same thing, releves up and down, straight legs. So I want you to pull up those kneecaps by engaging your quads and think of the weight pouring into the big toe. Good, so just like that. Picture this long line happening from all the way to the top of your head to your toes. Squeeze your booty, navel in, ribs down. And if you wanna practice your arms and get your arms involved, you can do nice graceful movements with the arms. Feel like you're floating in water, just like the water behind me. Feel like you're just moving so slow and there's this sense of resistance that's happening throughout every movement. And that's what makes ballet so beautiful is this sense of resistance that they create internally. All right, coming into a first position. Ooh, we're gonna do a little hot potato. So we're gonna tap the toe in front of us. Tap, tap, tap. So you're gonna feel the inner thigh working a lot here. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. Good. So the foot, don't bend the knee at all. So keep the thigh straight. There you go. Nice job, keep the chest up tall. You're gonna feel that standing glute working a lot to just kind of contain everything there. Good. Good, and then switch sides. Nice little quick toe taps. So it's not through the ankle, it's really through the hip right here. It's going up, 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 working that inner thigh a lot. Up, 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 up. Pull those abs in. Stay stable on the standing glute. Try not to move the whole body. So keep up nice and tall. <laughs> little hot potato. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, nice, okay. Now we're gonna go into a fourth position. So you, the heel is on the arch of the foot and we're gonna take a plie, reach forward, plie. So my arms are in a nice big round position, thumbs in, reach, plie, reach, plie. Nice, reach, plie. Finding your balance here, be nice and tall. 
Knees are turned out, so it's really from the hips, externally rotating from the hips right here. And reach, feel like you're really reaching through your heart all the way to your fingertips, like you're sending your heart through your first finger like that. Point the toe behind you. All right, other side. Here we go. So fourth position, starting with that turned out, squeezing the booty to get the hips turned out. And let's go, reach. Try not to put too much weight in the back toe. You wanna be able to lift off that toe if you had to. Break. Your arms get tired, right? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go in that same kind of first position. You're gonna take the foot into a little coupe and then you're gonna extend it back like that. Okay, so we're gonna do a little coupe and extend. Coupe and extend. So notice the leg is staying low, but I'm really squeezing my glute there. I'm engaging my quad, bending the standing leg as I come in. So it bends and reach. It's so a lot of balance work here. The toes are working like crazy. The ankles, so good for creating total body stability. Okay, arms are working a lot, just floating, right? Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side. Here we go. Extend through the toes. Right here, feel this long line from your toes to your fingertips. Reach, 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 reach. You wanna reach beyond your body. So feel like you're trying to touch something that's a little bit further away from you. You're trying to touch it like that. break and we're gonna go from second position all the way up into passe into second into passe let's go so if the arms are too tired I like to place them here like this because this hill still keeps the shoulders back the chest up and it gives the arms a little bit of a break otherwise you can join me here by opening and closing open and close. And if the passe is too high, just take a little bit lower to the ankle and that'll give you some more space there. take second position to tondu back to second to tondu okay just like that my arms are burning reach and make 
make sure that you step out wide for your second position. So notice how when I point my toe, I go a little bit beyond the toe, outside of it. Shake out those arms. We're gonna do the other side. I'm always surprised by how much my heart rate goes up and everything whenever I do ballet. I think we have this feeling like we need to be on the treadmill in order to get really good results, but you definitely don't need to. Try to land softly in that plie. Nice, soft, but go deep. Squeeze the booty. Expand the chest like a bird. These birds out here with their big wing extensions, right? That's what you want to feel like. Okay. Now we're gonna go into a curtsy lunge to passe. So curtsy right here, up, curtsy, and up. Let's go. lifted I know it tends to droop right as it gets tired so we're working a lot in those shoulders triceps back muscles right like those swan lake arms that's what we're working here to just like lift your body <laughs> okay all right I think there's dolphins back there my film crew is pointing them out to me I didn't catch them though up and down up Okay, we're gonna do lunge to arabesque. So we're gonna do more of like a traditional lunge here, and then we'll add our pretty long arabesque right there, okay? Let's go. Still like to practice my ballet arms though, so I bring it, my hands here, and then I reach back. Tuck my, um, thumbs in. My ballet teachers used to always say no hamburger hands, right? You want to have them in. Good. Short little breather before we go into the other side. How are you doing? Doing okay? I know, it's much more challenging than it really seems. But this will completely transform your posture, the way you hold yourself, right? That's why dancers have such amazing posture. 
because they are so in tune with their body. And everything is just upright and lifted. You're doing beautiful. Okay, a little breather. We're gonna do beat beat like this, little beat beat, a little coupe side to a tendu, standing leg bends, okay? Up, up, reach, up, up, reach, up, up, reach. Just like that. Really, really challenging your balance here to just even go up and down on one single leg. This is going to improve every other part of your life. I'm, I'm serious when I say that because you're gonna feel more confident, more balanced. Your feet get stronger. Good. Okay, you're doing awesome. It's not easy and I encourage you to come back to this video again and again. Every time you're gonna discover something new about your body, you're gonna feel it maybe a different way, right? So you won't know until you come back and try it again. Nice. Still balancing that book on your head, head, shoulders, hips, heels, all in one line. Try to bring that elbow up. Thumbs in. So no weight on the toe. It should be able to lift. You're just going up and down on that standing leg. Okay, I ended a little early on that one. Okay, second plie, we're just gonna take little pulses right here, nice and simple. We're almost there, we're getting so close. I love all these exercises. Really did come from my years and years of being in ballet, practicing, rehearsing, summer intensives, weekends. I really didn't have a social life. <laughs> I was in ballet all the time but I loved it, so that's what it's all about, right? Finding something you love and enjoy, that's what brings you back every time. Squeeze that booty underneath you. Okay, our last move, we're gonna do attitude lifts nice and slow. So you gotta balance on that front leg. We're gonna take it up and down, just like that. Up and down. So I like to give a tiny little micro bend on the standing leg, just so that I know that my thighs are working. Good, lift and lower. Lift and lower. to our final move right here. You have done such an amazing job and I know you're feeling it. Here we go. And if you feel like one leg has more balance than the other, that is totally normal. We all are a little asymmetric. 
Because we, I mean, we have, you know, a dominant side. Even in the womb, your legs are crossed in one way for a really long time, you know? So you just are, it's pretty impossible to ever expect our bodies to be perfectly symmetrical. So just know that about your body, having that compassion. All right, we're gonna just do a nice cool down stretch. So we're gonna take a nice forward fold here like this. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Into a little plie, a little stretch. That feels really nice, right? Reach and up. It's really, really so amazing that you are here taking care of your body. Good, and let's just take a nice forward fold all the way down. Release everything. Just a few little stretches here. Definitely go check out my other cool down stretches that I have here for you so that you can get into a deeper, longer stretch. Amazing job. Amazing job, that wasn't easy, so you should be proud of yourself. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, because that really helps me out to create more videos like this. And if you're the type of person that thrives on accountability and progress tracking, then download my Stretchy Fit app. You can start absolutely free, be a part of a loving community, and get my best bar and yoga programs. All right, I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.